Guys, this is Ronit from MathX, and today we're going to be doing number 21 from the first and second grade Math Kangaroo of 2018. Now, this problem, in my opinion, does not deserve the place of 21 because when you get down to solving the problem, all you can see to solve it is just using some simple multiplication. But putting that aside, let's get started. Alice has three white, two black, and two gray pieces of paper. She cuts every non-black piece of paper in half. Then she cuts every non-white piece of paper in half. How many pieces of paper will she have? And the answer choice for this problem is 14, 16, 17, 18, 20. Now to get started on this problem, we will see that we first have to reread the problem. Alice has three white, two black, and two gray. She cuts every non-black piece of paper in half. That means she cuts the three white and two gray in half. And when you cut those in half, you'll get it doubled. Now, if you don't get what I'm talking about, let's say you have a paper, uh, one of these white papers. If you cut it in half, you'll get half a paper. But if you do it for all of them, then you'll get six halves of the paper. But we won't consider them halves because it's just paper. So you'll consider them six papers. Now what I just said is that when you have everything, when you have it on cut in half, it will just double the amount of paper. So that means we will just have three white times two is six white. So let's just write that out. Three W times two is equal to 6w. Now next we will see that we have the gray pieces of paper. So let's just double that too. 2 gray times 2 is equal to 4 gray. Okay so if you might be questioning why I'm doing letter symbols well that's just because I want to keep it organized for the amount of color. But really, when, at the end, we're just going to add them up because they're all just pieces of paper. But anyways, next step, we'll have to read it again. Then she cuts every non-white piece of paper in half. Okay, so this time we're not going to be cutting the white pieces of paper in half. Instead, the only paper we're going to be cutting is the black and gray. Okay, so the gray one, since we already have 4G, because of the last multiplication thing we did for 2G times 2 is equal to the 4 gray pieces of paper. We already have 4 gray. Next, we have to do times 2. So let's just do that and we will get 8 pieces of paper. And next, we'll be having the black pieces of paper. And in the beginning, we didn't cut it because it said she cut every non-black piece of paper. But now we're allowed to cut it since it says she cut every non-white piece of paper. That means we have two black pieces of papers times two is equal to the four black pieces of papers. Okay, so now for our final step, we're going to be adding it all up together. Okay, so since our first step, we had the six whites, we can just write that as six since they're all just pieces of paper, as we said previously. Next, we can add up the blacks. So that's four black pieces of paper. Let's just have that as four. And finally, we'll be adding eight. And when we add them all up together, we will get 18. Meaning our answer to this problem Today is 18. And as I said before, all this problem is is just some simple multiplication. Now, whenever you have worries on a problem, just get into the problem and you'll figure out how to solve it. And with that done, we are now officially finished.